Venus Majeski and I'm the Director of Development and Community Relations for the New Jersey Institute for Disabilities. And NJID is now serving 1,500 infants, children, and adults with disabilities throughout the state. But it's hard to believe that we began from a Mahjong game. There were two families who had children with disabilities, the uh, Marks family from Highland Park and the Rotella family from Perth Amboy. The mothers played Mahjong, and that's how it all started. And uh, from that simple Mahjong game, uh, in 1949, we now have an agency that's become a leader in the state of New Jersey serving people with disabilities. NJID has a unique continuum of services because we serve people with disabilities at all stages in their life. We have the Children's Center, which is our early intervention program, serving children uh, from birth to age three with comprehensive services so that the child will thrive in the care of their parents. We then have the Lakeview School, which is our flagship, probably most identified with NJID. At Lakeview School, we serve 145 students who come from 12 counties throughout the state with more than 100 different diagnoses in the building. We also have uh, adult services because what's important to you and me, where will I work, where will I live, what's my philosophy, is just as important to an adult with disabilities. And so to support them, we have adult training centers located in five locations, and we have a very large network of residential services, group homes, and apartments, so that people can live within the community where they belong. NGID values our relationship with the Middlesex County Regional Chamber of Commerce. We find them to be great partners in our work. It's not just about the networking. It's about community awareness. It's about meeting the mayors, uh, having an opportunity to meet people in industry. And I think really that there is um, a misconception that a nonprofit is not a business. Our agency has a budget that exceeds $36 million. So we are a significant employer. We put money back into the economy. And if you don't treat your nonprofit as a business, you'll be out of business very quickly. And, um, you know, we always talk about no money, no mission. That's what drives a nonprofit. Uh, and it's important for us to be partners with the larger business community, and the Chamber affords us that opportunity. So people ask, you know, how is it that NJID has so much growth and really transformed um, the delivery of services to people with disabilities. And, and I know that that comes from the vision uh, and the leadership of our agency's president, Dominic Ursino. He's been with the agency for 47 years and is just as dynamic today as he was on day one. And I know that it's his vision and his stewardship that really shepherds the agency through to continue uh, our transformative growth. The Lakeview School is really unique in how it uh, develops programs for each student individually. And of course our, our latest and greatest enhancement to the program is the Aquatic Center at Lakeview School where hydrotherapy is provided for students. And we knew that it was really the best fit for what we needed, that it would provide the, the, the best benefits of hydrotherapy for the students at Lakeview School. It has features that were incorporated that you'll not find anywhere else. There are no ramps, there's no ladders, there's no lifts, zero depth access. And the student and the therapist comes out on that floor and the floor is then gently lowered and the water fills in so that the height of the pool is absolutely customized to the child, whether it's a little preschooler or a tall guy, six foot tall student, they are all in the proper depth that gives them the maximum efficiency of hydrotherapy. It's incredible to see, incredible. The entire floor is a treadmill and they're able to walk and do gait training on a treadmill but yet the water, the buoyancy of the water, supports them. I'm telling you, you see students who have never taken a step. 
walking in that pool. And then what happens? Then you transfer that ability when they're in their classroom. And then you know what this is all about. We've worked every amenity we could into this pool. We have underwater cameras that um, are always recording. We have digital profiles on each student, always recording their, um, their progress and how they move. I have to tell you this story. There's a student, I think he's about four years old, who in addition to his disability also lost his leg. It was amputated. We called in a specialist and he constructed a special underwater prosthesis. And now we can see him. He's walking on that treadmill and he's just so ecstatic to be able to, to walk again. You can measure things, of course, clinically and the doctors look at, at the profiles and the therapists take their notes. But when you have that moment to stand next to a parent who's watching their child take their first steps in the pool, steps that they've never been able to walk before, there really is no greater excitement and really touching moment than to share that joy because they see their child accomplishing something that they thought was impossible, but now it's possible.